Hey Chris, I got your strobe circuit done. It only took me like two years, so that's got to be some kind of a record. But uh, here it is. It consists of the box. That's obviously the, the guts and everything. But I also ended up buying the rings just to test it. So I made a nylon thing that uh, I epoxied them down to. And I put binding posts on. And I put binding posts on this side too. So you can basically just, you know, pick whatever length of wire you need. Uh, you could maybe leave this stationary and walk around with that as long as you know no one's going to be tripping over it. I was also thinking, and I'm sure this is what you were thinking also, keeping it on your person, but maybe getting a shoulder strap. It sits pretty nicely on the hip actually, and uh, if you put it like that you could, uh, you know, change the settings as needed. So, um, let me show you how it works now. Uh, power button, pretty self-explanatory. And um, the other things are probably self-explanatory too, but I'm going to go over them uh, in a little more depth. The frequency and pulse width. So let me just turn off the lights in here, or at least dim them. So, um, here it is. It's, uh, it's pretty bright. It's a lot brighter than that circuit that I built out in Hawaii with you. But... Uh, anyway, the camera might not might not capture exactly how bright it is. Uh, but okay, let's go over these these settings here. So we have frequency. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. That's just the rate at which it blinks. Um, you know, times per second or per minute or whatever you want to call it. There's a lower limit on how low you can go. Uh, I think this is lower than you need anyway. It looks like it's maybe about once every two seconds or something. Um, so half a hertz. And this is pulse width, so that controls how long for each cycle it's on for. Right now it looks like it's at maybe 50%, so you can turn it all the way up. So now it'll be on for a much longer portion of the time. So it's on for like 90% of the time now. Or if you turn it down further, um, it's on for a much shorter portion of the time. Uh, if you go too low, like I just did, it just shuts off completely. There's a practical lower limit. Um, so, there's also a lower limit on the frequency. You're probably looking at it. If you go much lower than this, it'll just stay off when it turns off. So now it won't even come back on. Um, it, unfortunately, is just part of the design. Um, so yeah, that's how that works. The batteries are in here. If you want to change the batteries, um, you got to take out the four screws on the sides. Don't touch the screws on the bottom, those hold components in place. Uh, and then these rivets hold the batteries on, so you take the cover off and change the batteries out of them. The batteries are strapped to the inside of the cover using Velcro. So just loosen the Velcro and put the new batteries in. And that's your strobing circuit. It'll probably only take me another nine months or so to ship it out. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy yourself. And hopefully I get to come visit sometime soon. All right, talk to you later, man.